All right, everyone. So I wanted to make this video because um, a couple years ago when I switched to Linux, I uh, was a pretty avid Hearthstone player and, uh, you know, really wanted to get Deck Tracker working. Couldn't find a way to do it. There's not really much documentation on how to do it online. Um, some of it seems to be outdated or doesn't work anymore if you do come across anything. And so uh, I really wished a video like this existed when I had first switched over, so I wanted to go ahead and uh, just make one. Um, so this is gonna be how to get Hearthstone Deck Tracker working, and of course Hearthstone um, on Linux. And we're gonna be using Lutris to do this. Um, you can use bottles. Uh, I did find that performance was a bit better in Lutris though. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, obviously the first thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, get Lutris installed. Um, I'm using the flat pack version. I've just had better luck with that. I have some issues with uh, the version that's in the Arch repos um, using Arch Linux. You could probably, since we're, especially since we're using flat pack here, you could probably replicate this on just about any system though. Um, so I like to manage my flat packs by the terminal. So you would just want to go uh, flat pack install Lutris um, and that would take care of everything for you. If you use um, a graphical package manager uh, you can definitely use that as well uh, like GNOME software. Um, so I'm using GNOME. I have not tried this on KDE um, and I did try it on Hyperland. Wasn't really able to get it going um, but would like to maybe mess with that more in the future. Anyway so this is what we're gonna do and make this a little bit bigger so you can see what we're, what's going on here. We're gonna do flat pack install Lutris and uh, for me this uh, it's already installed but um, I'm just gonna go through the motions here and uh, yeah as you can see it's already installed so um, what we're going to do next then is go ahead and I'm gonna launch Lutris um, and then I deleted my Hearthstone, but for some reason it still says this down here. Okay, now we're out of that. Uh, I'm not sure why it still says Hearthstone down here, but I deleted that bottle, so we're kind of we're starting fresh here, so you can see what the process is going to look like. Um, so we're just going to do search the Lutris website for installers. We're going to do battle.net, and then just click on that, install. Uh, I'm just going to use this, the default directory that it's setting up for us here. Um, we just hit install, we're just kind of clicking through here. And then this will create the wine prefix for us and get Battle.net installed. Um, probably fast forward a bit here. Alright, so this is going to come up while you're installing it. Um, you do need to kind of click through it. Um, and then you probably do want to make note of this right here. It says, do not attempt to log into Battle.net. Um, just, uh, you know, click through the windows that pop up, but don't try to actually log in. So that's what we're going to do here. All right. So we completed the installation. This window pops up and I'm just going to close it for now and let this finish. All right, so we've got the installation completed, so that's great. Um, I'm just going to close it from here, and then um, I'll go ahead and launch it from here. And then you're going to get this login window here that you're probably familiar with. All right, and then I'm just going to bring this window over to my second monitor over here to get logged in so my credentials don't show on the screen or anything so we should have Battle.net popping up pretty soon here there it is it's not being very responsive at the moment it's over on my other monitor let me see can I move it like this okay That's not really letting me interact with it, so maybe I'll close and open it. This might, this happens sometimes. Um, you know, these clients are not perfect when you run them 
on Linux, um, but they do run just fine for the most part. Sometimes you might have to do stuff like this. Uh, I, one thing I did notice, because I've done this in Bottles and Lutris both, is these um, clients, whether we're talking about Battle.net or uh, Ubisoft, uh, those are the two that I've really messed with the most. Um, th they run a lot better when you're using Lutris compared to Bottles. Um, I'm not exactly sure what Lutris is doing to optimize them better, but there is definitely a noticeable difference. All right, so we're just gonna go here and go ahead and install Hearthstone. Um, pretty self-explanatory there. So while that's going, what we're gonna do, uh, this, so this is what we do to get the deck tracker working. Uh, I'm gonna grab a Firefox window here and we're gonna go to uh, the Hearthstone Deck Tracker GitHub. Uh, you don't want to go and download just like the exe. Um, you'll see why in a second because we're not going to run a actual installer here. We're going to kind of manually copy in the files ourselves um, because that's what works. So we're going to go over here to the um, Hearthstone Deck Tracker releases page. You can just pull up the Hearthstone Deck Tracker GitHub. Releases can be found right here. Go ahead and click on that and then we're going to grab this zip file right here. Okay, so here's the file we downloaded. Let's go ahead and open that up. We're going to extract it. I'm just going to stick this in my documents folder for now. We're going to move this. Alright, so we extracted the deck tracker files um, and then what are we going to do with them so um, alright my computer is moving real slow right now uh, I think the reason it's doing this is because we're installing and trying to multitask uh, so I'm just going to let this finish and then I'll be right back alright so um, we've got the files that we extracted from the zip folder that we downloaded right here and so what we're going to do with them is we are going to drop them into the wine prefix we created here um, so that, uh, you know, the Hearthstone deck tracker files can run with Hearthstone within this wine prefix. So the way we're going to do that is uh, go ahead and right click on uh, the battle net that we just set up. We're going to go here to browse files. Um, and then, so this is kind of like, you know, your C drive that the wine prefix is using. Uh, it, I'm not really sure if it matters too much where you stick this. What I have been doing has just been putting it in my, uh, documents folder. So that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, I'm just going to drag that over and now we've got this inside the documents folder and then um, from here what we want to do is we're going to set up a uh, a new entry within Lutris uh, that is going to launch this exe file for us, the Hearthstone Deck Tracker exe file. Um, so to do that we are going to uh, go ahead and uh, let's see, we're going to click right here, add locally installed game, um, and then we want to get the wine prefix, because uh, we're going to use the same wine prefix, so uh, what I did to do that was just go back to here again, uh, and go to browse files, just copy this path right here, uh, and then um, we're just going to call this... We're just going to call this Hearthstone, because this is ultimately how we're going to launch Hearthstone. Um, let's see. Okay, so we're going to choose the runner. It's going to be Wine. Um, and then we're going to go over to Game Options. Uh, and we're just going to put the Wine prefix for both of these. Um, and then we're going to go and find the deck tracker exe file that we dropped in there so um, 
that was in our documents folder and it is let's see right there okay so we've got that um, and then we're gonna definitely want to take a look at some of these uh, runner and system options to get everything working uh, I experimented with all this stuff um, this is what I ended up with um, you can you can mess with this if you want uh, I'm not really sure if it has a lot of impact on how well the deck tracker is gonna work um, but the big thing that um, took a long time for me to figure out I'm not sure why this fixes things um, but if you don't enable this then the deck tracker overlay is going to be fighting with the game for uh, which window is going to be on top and it, it makes it just a, a, a headache to use basically it doesn't really perform very well either um, again I don't know why this changes it I don't see what would do exactly to fix that problem but it does um, and uh, I'm not even sure I haven't tried different numbers here I basically copied this over from bottles which I think had it enabled by default that's where I was able to get it to start working first and then I wanted to bring it over to Lutris to see if the performance was better which it was uh, and this was the setting that um, stopped the deck tracker and the hearthstone game from fighting with each other for which would be on top um, so this is the big thing make sure you enable dpi scaling and set that to 93 feel free to experiment with other things um, i haven't done it i just know this works and i, I can't really even tell a difference in the dpi um, but it works so uh, everything else i just keep it with the defaults um, everything seems to work fine the way it is um, let me see if there's anything else. I don't think so. Let me check over here real quick. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So now what we can do is we're going to go ahead and click to launch Hearthstone. This is going to launch our deck tracker, but we can launch Hearthstone from there. Uh, I was able to get... Um, kind of like two separate entries in within bottles for the deck tracker in Hearthstone. Couldn't really figure out how to do it in Lutris. Um, but this works fine. So as you can see, brand new uh, deck tracker instance here. Um, you're going to want to, you know, put in all your settings and everything. Um, but this is pretty much all you really have to do. Uh, now we can go ahead and hit start Hearthstone and this will launch our battle net and it should just launch hearthstone right away you probably don't even have to click on it at least not most of the time in my experience Alright, so as you can see, here's Hearthstone loading up. Get the opening animation, because this is the first time we've launched it. And yeah, so I'll show you an example of it working in-game, so you can see clearly that it works. Um, this is what I like to do with the settings. Uh, you can feel free to do whatever you like. Alright. So yeah, I'll just um, get in game real quick and, you know, show that it's working. Um, but that sh that is pretty much all you have to do. Um, obviously from here you're going to want to change your Hearthstone deck tracker settings, um, you know, to match however you like them. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it really. And as you can see here it is, um, it works pretty much fine. Oh, I just realized that probably sounds really bad through the microphone, so I just killed the audio there. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it is working fine. Um, you can do the little hover. That all works. The animations um, seem to work pretty well. And uh, yeah, guys, that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, yeah, so now hopefully you all can enjoy your favorite children's card game. Uh, while enjoying all the freedoms of Linux.
yeah, enjoy everybody.